What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video today. And in this video, we are here at Joe Foss Field or Sioux Falls Regional Airport for the 11th airport update for the month of January, 2021. This is the first airport update that will be released for the new year. I'm pretty excited to see what we got. Got some pretty decent traffic. Also, we got a couple new models in here as well. Actually, just one new model rather, and you'll see that here later in the video. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, at game one, I have this Allegiant Airbus A320, but uh, the day that I'm representing these flights, which is January the 3rd, this flight was actually canceled. So, yeah, that's a little bit interesting. Not sure why it got canceled. We have a lot of, we've had a lot of delayed and canceled flights lately after we had the uh, snowstorm a few weeks ago. We've had a lot of flights get like heavily delayed or even a couple have gotten canceled lately. So not sure what's going on. But yeah, this flight got canceled. He was supposed to arrive in from Phoenix Mesa and it just ended up getting all uh, thrown out the window. So hopefully those passengers that were looking either um, were trying to come home from Phoenix or, you know, trying to head out to Sioux Falls for a little bit of vacation. That obviously did not happen, but hopefully they were able to find some alternate alternate plans and whatnot. Apologies for the shoddy angle here because of how this terminal is set up and everything, but this is actually the first time that we've seen gate 2 be used in an airport update, at least to my knowledge. I don't remember um, or recall another time in which this gate was actually used. So at gate 2 we have this Delta Connection CRJ200. I'm using my United Express Battleship Gray example instead. Um, he arrived in a little bit late, about 7.42 behind a scheduled 7.26 arrival from Minneapolis and I believe this is an Endeavor operated uh, flight as it does have the Echo Delta Victor in the call sign it also has the Echo Victor in the suffix of the registration. At gate number three we have a Frontier Airbus A320 this was operated by Montana the Elk which is one of their older A320s with just the uh, fence tip winglets. Uh, this guy right in about 435 ahead of a 457-ish scheduled arrival. Flight radar does not show the flight information correctly because I think the tracker screwed up or something. I don't know what happened, but <clears throat> that's kind of what happened there for this flight. But he did arrive a little bit early, which is good to see after seeing the one cancellation and the one slight delay. So hopefully uh, we don't see any more delays in the rest of the update. Arriving on time from Denver at about 8.15, just a little bit ahead of the 8.17 scheduled arrival, is this United 737-800 in the old Continental Merger livery. So he arrived in, as I said, from Denver, about an hour and 10-ish uh, flight time. So pretty cool to see him. He's actually parked at gate 6 for whatever reason, which uh, typically is occupied by the United Express CRJ 550 flights. So... A little bit interesting to see him there, but looks like it can handle some mainline operations. There we go. It at least started to focus on part of the plane. And now I'm trying to, I'm trying to do like a nighttime update, so uh, my LED lighting system, it doesn't really encompass the entire terminal. It just gets some of the uh, south side gates and then one of the north side gates kind of, and otherwise the rest of the airport is pretty much pitch black. So um, I, try to, I try to shape... <clears throat> So I try to shake up the airport updates a little bit with the lighting and whatnot. So hopefully you guys like this. It's really the only update in which I can, um, the only airport in which I can do this kind of like unique lighting for whatever update I want. So um, that's all we have for him. We got one more aircraft. And here is one of my brand new models from uh, Christmas, a brand new edition for the collection. This is a United 777. Now this did not actually arrive on January 3rd. I'm only putting this in an airport update because of what happened in late August as one of these aircraft actually visited Sioux Falls as a military charter, which was pretty cool to see. Flew in from Houston and I believe he went out to like Killeen, Texas. Um, somewhere around there, I think, is where he went out to. So, um, looks like he's taxiing to the south apron. That's where the fighter wing is at. He's got an orange service truck following him. Um, probably trying to guide him so as to uh, not get lost. But he is right behind the uh, in the intake for the engine, right behind the exhaust, rather. So hopefully he doesn't get sucked in. But he should be fine. Um, he's got that engine cut out, I think. Um, and the starboard engine seems to be running. Um, just pretty much only the starboard engines and one running board engine has been cut out. And that's it for the update. Not much going on here for New Year's, but um, some decent action nonetheless. And it is pretty unique to do this kind of airport update with the um, custom lighting system that I have in place. 
Just basically some leftover LED lights that I had lying around, so I set this up back uh, before I filmed the third update, which was back in, I think, like last May or something, which is pretty crazy to think we're so far out from um, those times now. But um, hopefully, future looks bright for all of us, because I just think that we can only go up from here, and hopefully that is the case. So with that being said, that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.